Air Force One. The name evokes a sense of power, mystery, and prestige. The flying fortress that carries the President of the United States is more than just a mode of transportation. It is a symbol of American strength, a command center, and a marvel of engineering. But how did this iconic plane come to be, and what makes it so unique? Today we're diving deep into the story behind the construction of Air Force One exploring its fascinating design features that make it one of the most secure and advanced aircraft in the entire world. The journey of Air Force One begins in the 1940s, when Franklin D. Roosevelt became the first sitting president to fly in an aircraft. His Douglas C-54 Skymaster, nicknamed the Sacred Crow, set the president for future presidential flights. Fast forward to 1962, and the United States welcomed the true icon, the VC-137C, a modified Boeing 707, famously painted in blue and white with the words United States of America along the side. This was the first official aircraft to carry the call sign, Air Force One. Today, the term Air Force One isn't tied to a specific aircraft, but rather a call sign used when the president is on board any Air Force aircraft. However, two specially designed Boeing 747-200B series aircraft tail numbers 28,000 and 29,000 serve as the primary Air Force One planes, combining cutting-edge technology, unmatched security, and comfort. Building Air Force One is no small feat. The process begins at the Boeing plant in Everett, Washington, where the 747-200B airframe is constructed. These planes are custom-built, incorporating numerous modifications to meet the specific needs of the President and his entourage. Unlike commercial aircraft, Air Force One requires extensive upgrades, which start even before the plane leaves the factory. The initial construction phase focuses on building a robust and reliable airframe capable of long-distance travel and in-flight refueling. The plane's wingspan stretches over 195 feet and it's equipped with four powerful General Electric CF680C2B1 engines, allowing it to cruise at speeds of up to 600 miles per hour, with a range of 7,800 miles. Air Force One can fly halfway around the world without needing to refuel. Once the basic airframe is completed, the aircraft is flown to a secure facility where it undergoes secret modifications, turning it into a flying fortress. Let's talk about some of the incredible features that set Air Force One apart from any other plane. One of the first things to note is the aircraft's reinforced structure. The body of Air Force One is hardened against electromagnetic pulses, ensuring it can withstand the effects of nuclear blasts from afar. Additionally, it's equipped with flares and electronic countermeasures that can jam enemy radar and confuse incoming missiles, making it nearly impossible to shoot down. And if you think the exterior is impressive, wait until you hear about the inside. Air Force One has advanced secure communication systems, including a communication suite comparable to that of a sophisticated command and control center. In the event of a crisis, the president can run the country from the skies, with access to encrypted phones, internet, and satellite links. While security and defense are paramount, Air Force One also embodies luxury and comfort. The aircraft's interior resembles a flying hotel more than a typical plane. The main deck includes a spacious presidential suite, complete with an office, a bedroom, and a laboratory. There's also a conference room, a dining room, and quarters for senior staff, secret service agents, and members of the press. The president's suite is equipped with everything needed to work and rest during long flights. With custom-made furniture and decor that reflect the dignity of the office, there's even a full kitchen capable of preparing gourmet meals for the president and up to 100 guests. Another critical feature of Air Force One is its medical suite, which functions as a mini-hospital. This onboard medical facility includes a pharmacy, an operating table, and medical equipment. In case of an emergency, the president has access to immediate medical care, with doctors always on board. The plane's self-sufficiency extends to its food and water supplies, with onboard storage for fresh water and food supplies. Air Force One can sustain long flights without the need to land, maintaining the president's safety and comfort. Throughout history, Air Force One has been more than just a mode of transportation. It's been a tool of diplomacy, a command center during times of crisis, and a symbol of the United States' reach and influence. From flying to meet world leaders to serving as a mobile office during international emergencies, Air Force One has played a pivotal role in some of the most significant events of our time. 
For example, during the 9-11 attacks, Air Force One was used as a secure location to keep the president safe while maintaining communication with the nation's military and government. This event highlighted the plane's role as a critical element of national security. With the world constantly changing, Air Force One must also evolve. The next generation of Air Force One is already in the works, with plans to upgrade to the Boeing 7478. This new model promises even greater speed, efficiency, and technological advancements, ensuring that the President of the United States continues to travel in unparalleled safety and style. Air Force One is more than just a plane. It's a symbol of American ingenuity and power. With every journey, it carries the weight of history and the promise of the future. From its fortified exterior to its luxurious interior, Air Force One is a marvel of modern engineering that ensures the president can lead the nation no matter where in the world they may be.